Well, let's jump into it. Since you don't care, I got some rapid-fire <laughs> questions Thanks, for man. you. Uh, it's called, If You Only Knew. First car. Was a Plymouth, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a Pontiac station wagon. It was mm. fire engine red. It was huge. Oh, that, 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 that was like, my family's first car. I was about to say, if you pulling up to the school in that, that's like kind of <laughs> cool though. Like, um, yeah, I was oh. the opposite. I was so not cool. It was kind of cool. Yeah, I that's think. what I'm saying. My first car. Now I'm realizing I spent. Uh, I bought it from uh, the Mednicks. It was two hundred dollar minivan. I glued a rubber ducky to the front of the car. It was okay. a dumb car. That Ran sounds into the ground. amazing. That was my first car. <laughs> Something or someone who inspires you? Right now, Keanu Reeves. Why? What? <laughs> John Wick? Or oh, no, I just think he's a great dude. He's always just you positive. No, never. I wish I did. Really? He's just a good guy. He's making Bill and Ted again. I just think... Ke Are Look they? up Keanu Reeves, yeah. Nice. Look up Keanu Reeves and just all the great stuff. He's I mean, done I mean, I, just, I just, I just, I didn't know if like he saved your life one day. I, I, like, you know what? I like bet he Matrix. would. I, don't know. I love the Matrix. <laughs> I'm a big fan. I just noticed today. I read some a nice article about Keanu Reeves, and I went, you know what? I hope he's doing good. I like that guy. I like <laughs> I him. Like I'm him. glad he's here. We love We're all you, better Keanu. for having him. Thank you for the Matrix. <laughs> Strangest fan encounter. One that I can tell on television or not. Um, Go deep. We want to. <laughs> one hear of my this. one of my first episodes of SNL. I, I I met a nice girl. If you're out there, hey. sorry. Uh, hey. <laughs> a nice girl came up to me after one of my first episodes for SNL and talked to me all night. And I was like, Oh, I'm on TV. A lady's talking to me. Yeah. And at the end of the night, she was like, Do you want to get out of here? And I was like, Oh my goodness. And it went down. And and she said, uh, No. Oh, uh, she dang, said, uh, she said good. Before we go, I got to ask you, what's Howard like? And I said, Howard, who? She was, Are you not Artie Lang? <laughs> And I was like, no. Wow. Said, Who are you? I said, my name's Bobby Boyd I'm on Saturday Night Live. And she went, okay. And I went, you know what? Yeah, Maybe and, not. And then you just you, you just left it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I went home. I would have been arty <laughs> all night. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite SNL character growing up? Oh, so many. Every one of them. Uh, anything Dana Carvey. Massive Head Moon Harry was very, Ooh. very funny to me. Ooh, it's a, yeah, it's a yeah, deep yeah. cut, but yeah. that one got me. I'll get a church lady for me. Oh, I was in a church lady. Oh, oh it was see. the greatest day of my life. Man. That, one of, yeah. Isn't I got that very special? lucky, very lucky to hang, yeah. I was in a church lady. I was dressed as Snooky. Uh, and now I'm in a movie with Dana Carvey. Another brilliant mind. No, oh, he's the best. He yeah. is Saturday Night Live. Favorite SNL character you've portrayed? Probably Janet Peckinpah. No one remembers that one, but probably that one. <laughs> right. I just did a. Uh, I have a lot of weird characters. I did once or twice. Janet Peckinpah. Towards like the end of the show, right? <laughs> <laughs> which is where I love to be. I like doing that weird stuff at the end. Right. And I played a character named Janet Peckinpah. She was just a very, pretty much a lady that looked like me <laughs> and knew it. And she was very just like, and she would meet celebrities and and essentially just beg them to have sex with her. That's hilarious. <laughs> Not <laughs> like It wasn't girl, beg. That's, that's the, the first wrong, time. Mm, Maybe, 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 maybe I didn't That's know what I was doing. That's where the inspiration It's not begging. Me. She more just went like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, if, if I was a woman. How and that, would, that's pretty life. fascinating that you say, because I never noticed that towards the end of the show is where they put the, the weirder stuff? Or? Yeah, the 10 to 1 slot, it's called. You know, 10 to 1, that's usually where, like, the, like, if we still got them, they're not leaving at 10 to 1. So, right, like, right. the weirder stuff will go on sometimes. That's fascinating. Yeah, a lot of, like, Will Forte would do a lot of, like, those sketches, and he would write, like, real... Specific Will Forte stuff. So then there's like prime love, time, like the the first couple of sketches are the the sweet spots. Or? Yeah, I think right after right after the monologue in between update is where you want to be if you want to make the news the next morning. Ah. But if you want the comedy people to laugh, maybe you go on. You know, you, you if you're like you're the, you're the last sketch of the night, you're like. Ugh. I love learning that, man. Favorite superhero. Mmm, that's rough. Come on, you gotta have one. There's the, I, there's the it, one it that got you into. It might be a bad guy. It. That's the problem. Might be the Joker. Oh, like that's a that's a yeah. that's, that's a great character. awesome. That's a really Absolutely. Great character. It'd be a comedian or the, the Joker. I really I would I, the I'm Blob. A, yeah, I love the Blob. Really? Yeah. The, well, I'm a chubby kid, so, <laughs> so I I was like he can beat people up. I, guess I, <laughs> I love that. All right, best piece of advice you've ever received. Once again, this is just today, right now. The first thing that came to mind. Right. I've been listening to a lot of Hamilton lately. Mm. And the only thing for Hamilton, talk less, smile more. Just mm. keeps playing over and over in my Love head. Love that. Worst piece of advice you've ever received. To take to, to take a to take uh, take this job. <laughs> right. But I don't want that job. You should take you that should job. Take it. Something your <laughs> agent has told you. <laughs> Maybe. No, no, no. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. 
I'm not guilty. I was gonna say I was gonna say like the Bravo shows or something, but like, I'm not guilty about that. I watch those all the time. Yeah, why not? Drag yeah. Race is one yeah. of my favorites. Oh yeah. Maybe Peach Snapple. I like I like Peach Snapple too <laughs> much. Is that a guilty It's pleasure? delicious. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> Roll you regret turning down. A role I regret, ter Jaws. I was supposed to be Jaws. You were, <laughs> I was like, you were the thank shark. You, thank you for even remotely believing <laughs> me like, for a second. Thank you. You almost got me, Bobby. <laughs> uh, something that keeps you up at night. The, the president. <laughs> Does he really? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think that kind of encapsulates everything. He's like, I mean, like, I would just say general worry, but I blame it all on him you know, for the past couple of years. Right. He, that's what he's great you know, at, though. From we that put moment, all our frustration into him. Very from well. that moment, I remember I was at I was at Saturday Night Live. Right. I watched Dave Chappelle hit a oh. wall and slide down a wall and just go like, "What is happening?" Wow. Watched it all happen wow. and then walked home through Times Square right. with pictures of him on screen shaking hands like it was Darth Vader in Star Wars. Yeah, and I was like, like what's happening? Nothing has been the this same. This bizarro world. That keeps me up. Yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> Biggest risk. Quitting my day job as a bartender the day, like, the day after they offered me becoming a manager. Wow. And going like, no, I'm going to go try and do comedy. The reward. Yeah. I, somebody <laughs> sent it. me a picture recently, a picture of me. I used to bartend at a pizzeria Uno. Wow. Like way back in the day. And yeah. a picture of me washing the bar watching Saturday Night Live. That's and amazing. I was like, this is my favorite picture in the world. That's like, amazing. Yeah, it was great. All right, biggest splurge. Come on, you got the iced out watch. I know, I know, I know, I know you're blinking. Yeah, Come right. My, my <laughs> the Bugatti's splurge. outside. My biggest splurge. <laughs> um, I bought my daughter all the Disney princesses <laughs> at that, once because I didn't want to. That's I amazing. Them out. No. Um, ah, gosh, I'm a collector. I collect a lot of things. So like maybe like like a lot of props from movies and stuff Ooh, that yeah, I collected. Oh yeah, I'm that guy too. I got yeah. like Iron Man like in my. What do you house. got? I have like uh, from the first Iron Man, I have a full fixture of like just the, and you can actually put the suit on. Like so, it's like I'm like Tony Stark. Like what I, are you doing later? Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm definitely an Iron Man. That's head. pretty great. All right, uh, something you wish to accomplish next in your career? Like a nice nap. <laughs> um, no, <laughs> no. Um, everybody wants to play a superhero. I could Facts. get Jack to play a superhero. Right. Maybe stay the way I am. Play or a the Blob. I'll play the Blob. <laughs> I'm down. I got Fat Thor now. Why not? Um, <laughs> nah. um, gosh, I don't know. I, I, it's so funny. Cool. I, I'm very much in a in a content place in my life where I'm like, yeah. SNL was great. I got a daughter now. Pretty happy. And Number whatever one comes movie. next is all gravy. Yeah. It's all gravy after this. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.